Going Fit workout series. Today we're working on balance. Now this balance workout is meant to be, in a sense, kind of an active recovery day. We've been hitting it hard on the other days, giving your body some recovery time, but staying active at the same time. Today's workout is balance, something that a lot of us don't put a lot of, a lot of thought and time into. But if you think of a house, if you think of your body as a house, balance is kind of building that foundation. And then once you get that foundation built, you can add on top of it. I'm here with Grant. Grant's going to help us through these balance exercises. Now, I'll admit, balance not my strong point, but I do it. And since I've started doing it, it's made a difference in my overall performance. Grant, are you ready for this? Okay, first move is a balance reach. So we're going to grab our dumbbell. And we're going to set up right here. Now with all these balance exercises, you want your core tight. The tighter you keep your core, the easier it is going to be for you to stabilize. So what you're doing is you're setting this dumbbell about a foot in front of you, keeping your back straight. I actually like to put a hand behind my back, dropping down, and your leg is going to start twitching like crazy. Tap the dumbbell and then come back up. Try to stay on one foot the whole time if you can. If you can't, what you can do is kind of have this back foot close to the ground and just kind of leave it there. Don't be afraid to stumble on these and then come back up. Okay, we're going to go for one minute each side. I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to spot check the form. And here we go. Looks good. His back is straight. And I'm going to give you a little, a little side view here just so you can see what it looks like from this angle. So I'm dropping down. My left leg is twitching like crazy right now. And what you'll notice with these balance exercises is you'll have one side that's better than the other side. Typically if you're right-handed, if you grew up playing any sports, Grant's an athlete, he knows all about that. When you throw, your left leg is your plant leg your left side of the core is typically stronger, more stable. And vice versa, of, of course, if you're right or if you're left-handed. 10 seconds left. In 3, 2, 1. Switch legs, switch hands. This should be the interesting side and here we go. I don't know if I really want to embarrass myself with this right leg. dropping down and this this balance work even though it is kind of a recovery workout it will get you sweating it will get you breathing a little bit so you'll still walk away with the feeling like you like you've had an effective workout and as you can see we're falling all over the place so don't be ashamed by any means okay we have about 20 seconds left here don't give in, don't give in. Ten seconds. Keep it stable. So we've got all these muscles that are sleeping in here. This is waking them up. And time. Whew, okay. Workout over. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. We have airplanes. What we're doing... You're getting on one leg. Again, most of the workout is going to be on one leg here. So keeping your back straight, raising the leg, and then we're just going to do a nice static hold. Hold that position for 60 seconds. Clock is starting. Here we go. Left leg first. Make sure we don't bump heads here, huh? And then what you want to do, a more advanced version, is try to make your body into a tabletop, raising the back leg as high as you can. And what that does is it gets some glute activation going. <laughs> and it'll stretch that hamstring out, working on the flexibility. 25 seconds left, here we go. Oh, twitching, twitching. As you can see, Grant's going barefoot too. A lot of times, if you go barefoot, 
it's going to give you an advantage because you can really dig those toes into the ground. Here we go, finish it strong. Keep breathing throughout. Three, two, one. Right to the other side. Yep, good old right side. And a lot of times those hips will want to kind of open up on you. You want to keep them close. So an open hip, if I drop here, sometimes my hips will want to turn. So I want to square them off and hold the position. Okay. And why am I sweating already? <laughs> we're not pros, people. We're good athletes, so we both like the ball, but we're not we're not professional gymnasts here, so this is this is kind of out of our wheelhouse. Oh, 10 seconds. Let's get back into it. <laughs> mm. In three, two, one. Oh, yeah. All right. Two exercises coming up. These are our, this is the animal series of the workout here. We've got two animal movements that we're going to do. Don't be ashamed. This is a bear crawl first. Bear crawl, it's balanced, but it's a lot of core, a lot of shoulder and hip mobility. So you're going to drop down. Sometimes it can take a little bit to get the footwork down. You're going to go on your hands. Knees are off the ground. Left hand and right leg are coming forward. So this right knee and elbow are touching. And then vice versa. Three, four, and then you're going to go four back. One, two, three, four. Much harder than it looks. Going for one minute. Three, two, one, and here we go. I'm just going to spot check Grant's form on this. As you can see, he's synchronized. The arm and the leg are moving at the same time. The tendency that people have on these bear crawls is to let the arms get ahead of the leg just because it's, it requires much more core to synchronize the movement. And the lower you can stay to the ground, the harder this is going to be. And if you need to modify, just raise that body up a little bit. There we go. He's feeling core like crazy. Core city here. We have 10 seconds left, Grant. Three, two, one. Good job. That was impressive. Impressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you don't do a lot of bear crawls uh, in your spare time, so that was uh, yeah, not so much. That was good for the first time. Crab walks. Now we're flipping over. This one is great for the shoulder mobility. Okay, a lot of people as they get older, their shoulders roll forward, start to lock up on them. This keeps them loose. The shoulder's a tricky joint. So you really want to pay attention to it. So your hands can either be face forward, sideways, or back, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then you want to fight to get some height in your hips here. And then you're just walking forward. Four to six steps forward, and then you're just taking it back. And you're really going to feel that stretch. And then you're going to feel some glutes and hamstrings as you fight to keep your hips high. One minute, two, one, and go. There it is. Now this one is a good indicator on what type of mobility you have through your hips. If your hip flexors are tight, it's gonna be hard for you to raise those hips all the way up. And you'll feel that stretch along the front deltoid as you're walking forward and back. And you're in your own living room, so don't worry about people making fun of you. I do this in the gym in front of other people because I don't really care anymore, but it's fun to act like animals sometimes. 
Looking good, Grant. We have 10 seconds left. Keep fighting. He's working hard here. I think harder than he thought he would be today. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. The next one, upper body gets a little bit of a break here. We're working on balance in this quad, and at the same time, we're adding some movement to the hip flexor and the hip abductor. So you're going to stand on one leg. Try to stay on this one leg the whole time. You're raising up. Bring it back down. Back up to the side. And then back down. Okay, one minute. Simple enough, right? Here we go. And there are a lot of ways you can make this move more difficult. Um, you know, there are gym toys, a BOSU ball, some balance discs, anything that can make you more unstable will make this more of a challenge for you. There we go, we're on the good side, and you'll feel a little bit of oblique as you raise that leg up too, a little bit of core. Just remembering to keep that core tight. Another reason we work on this balance stuff is because as we age, two of the first things to go are our balance and our flexibility. Our strength we can maintain for a long time, but the balance starts to go. Ten seconds left here, Grant. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, and let's get that other side. Raising up. Good. Yeah, back to what I was saying, the balance starts to go. So if you can stay on top of this balance work, and it's, it's really a nonstop job, you know, work on it two to three times a week, work on it every day, it's something that you can put, you know, 10 to 15 minutes in per day, it'll pay dividends for you. But a lot of the injuries that we see are all balance related. You know, you know as, as we get older, you'll see people falling, injuring a hip. Part of that is from the impact of landing. Part of it is from just the hip not being stable enough to support you as you're walking or as you're going up upstairs or whatever you might be doing. And we all want to be active for as long as we can. 15 seconds here. There we go. Right side, always more fun. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, last exercise before we go through it all one more time. This is just as much of a core, even an abdominal exercise, as it is a balanced one. You're taking a dumbbell any size you want. You're probably not going to need a really big one, a small one. I've got a five here. That's enough for me. So I'm taking the dumbbell, holding it off to my left. My right leg is kicked back. I'm bringing it across my body and twisting, and I'm holding here and then drop back down. So almost like a little Heisman Trophy looking move here and then back down. So you're getting that rotational crunch, working the abs, working the obliques, and you're holding that balance there. Okay? One minute. I'm going to join you on this one, Grant. And here we go. Nice little pause, and keep it going, good. You may stumble. My balance actually feels pretty locked in right now. Must have been that basketball from earlier. <sighs> Breathe throughout, inhale at the bottom, exhale as you go up. Now, if we wanted to make this more of a core move, we'd go a little more rapid fire like you saw in our core city, but we're going balance, so we're just holding it. <clears throat> 15 seconds left. There we go. It's getting easier and easier. And right to the other side. Three, two, one. Here we go. 
There's that right side again. Oh, losing it a little bit. Got a nice rotation. There we go. And you'll start feeling the shoulders too, which is perfectly okay. Always good to keep them moving. And with a light weight, this is ideal for our off day. Nice hold. Give me a five second hold here. Hold that. And back down. And we'll keep it going. Whew. All right, finish it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're good. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a water break. We're just going to take a 30 second one. If you need a longer one, hit that pause button. Shouldn't need too long of a break for this balance workout though, so try to keep it short. Grant, we got water for you right over here. A little hydration, always a good thing. And we're back into it. Now we're going to go through the whole series again, but we are going to make a couple modifications to some of these moves. So the balance reach, we have the dumbbell in front of us again, but instead of standing directly behind it, we're going to stand behind and then take a step to your right. So now you're going to get more of a cross body movement, making the hips adapt, making the core adapt. A little more, a little more challenging than the first time. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Ready to do it? Okay. We'll get... And here we go. Cross the body. These are slow and controlled movements. Uh, oh, I can feel that core burning already. Whoa, almost knocked my dumbbell over. And you will be surprised to see how these balance moves translate over into your regular strength training program. Honestly, it's not something that I was really into until a few years ago and then I did did a little homework on the balance training a friend of mine recommended it to me and you know I picked up a couple dumbbells after I'd done it for three weeks four weeks and I was lifting 15 pounds more than I did before so and time and let's switch that Okay, right side, reaching with the left hand across the body, and here we go. So, keep that in mind, you know, for all you bigger guys that might not, that might see balance as something that's not worth your time. Sure, it's not going to make the biceps pop directly, but, like I said, it's building that foundation so we can make the rest of the house stronger, more stable. Okay. Core is tight. I'm going to keep my hand back here just to make sure my back doesn't bend because I can feel it starting to curve just a little bit here. Almost there. Three, two, one, and wow, made it through that one. Okay, the next one is one of my favorites. It's the airplane again, but it's a different take on it. So I'm going to look at you straight on here. I'm dropping down into the airplane just like last time. But now I'm turning that torso, twisting left hand down, and then whoop, checking back in, right hand. So that's one minute. I'm going to tell you this is an advanced move. If you can't do it, just stay in that regular airplane. If you want to add this challenge to it, let's get the twist in. Grant's going to twist it out. Three, two, one. Here we go. 
Oh, might be hard for me to talk during this one. It's going to require all of my concentration here. You guys at home are probably like Gary. Just pipe down for a minute here. I got to focus. And it might, if you feel back, you're probably bending it. So if you need that little break, step out for just a second and then get right back into it. 20 seconds left here. Uh, wow, I am struggling here. Like I said, a lot of those muscles that have been sleeping are working here. And time. Oh, other side. Let's do it. This should be interesting. Okay, left leg back. And let's twist it out. And what I like about this one, too, as your body turns, this right side is just a disaster for me. As your body turns, it stretches your hamstring in a different kind of way, pulling from different angles, as opposed to just the traditional straight down static hamstring stretch. So it's more of a three-dimensional stretch on the hammies there. All right, I'm going to get back into it here. go 15 seconds five four three two one wow done with that one okay wasted no time right into the bear crawls you know what to do grant 60 seconds and here we go His form is still good. You might hear these called alligator walks too. Alligator walks, bear crawls. All different names for the same kind of exercise. There we go. This one's a challenge. And you can add a little push-up element to it as well if you want. looking good the core is feeling it at this point of the workout though this is where you really got to dig deep and by now you're probably saying Gary I thought this was the off day you lied to me 10 seconds here we go finish it off three two one flipping over right away into the crab walk Three, two, one, and we're going. There we go. Good, taking it as far as your living room allows. And don't be afraid to, you know, with these DVDs, if you have a little laptop computer, take it to the take it to the gym with you. Hook up that laptop, set it up in your aerobic studio if you want a little more space I do that but more often than not it's done in the living room here we go 20 seconds left here Grant Get as much as we can and let's go down to the end once more Three, two, one, and you feeling more shoulders, more core? Where are you feeling that? A lot of core, core city. Okay, the single leg balance, we're going to add a little variation to it. So instead of just raising the leg forward and kicking it to the side, what we're going to do is raise up and then you're going to rotate to the outside and then rotate to the inside and then come back down. Okay, so this is hip rotation. Ready, and go. 
I'm gonna raise up. This is one of my favorites. And then back down. And then just lightly tap or just hover. Raise up. Whoa. Raise up. Turn it. Now another variation of this, as Grant continues to do the normal way, is you can actually add a back lunge to it just to get a little more lower body. You go back lunge, raise up, open, back to the middle, and then right back down into that back lunge. So I'll do a few more of these here. Coming back up over and down Let's see how that performs looking here Grant in three two one and we're going right to the other side left side on the right leg here we go twisting and then back down Good. Trying to hover, keep that leg hovering. Your hip flexor is going to light up, but both sides of the hip are working here because this one hip is stabilizing as you add that movement element to the exercise. And at the same time, this hip flexor is lighting up, the hip abductor is lighting up as you externally rotate. about 20 seconds left here keeping the breathing normal Whoa. three two one and time last move everybody dumbbell wood chopper with a twist we're gonna get both sides again let's pick up our fives once again, hand out to the left, we're twisting over. One minute, and here we go. A little pause. I think my core is starting to feel it by now. Shoot, if mine's starting to feel it, I wonder what Grant's feels like. There we go. Just visualize yourself winning that Heisman. Crunch that core right there. Adding the movement again to the balance. It's one thing to just stand on one foot. It's another thing to add these elements of movement. External weight, 15 seconds. There we go, let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and we're gonna finish strong with the other side. Going in three, two, one, let's do it. There we go. Good, if you wanna make it harder, get an even bigger twist. If you have the flexibility in your glutes and your back to allow you to do that. Finishing strong. Last 20 seconds. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Okay, now let's hold this last one 10 seconds. Hold it. Keep it up. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Nice work, my friend. That was glowing fit balance. Like any other workout, follow the cool down procedures. We'll get some static stretching in, rehydrate, get a good meal in you, and keep glowing fit. 
Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm Gary. And we are here together making up Glowing Fit. We're here to provide a fun yet challenging workout for those of you looking for workouts you can do just about anywhere. No matter your lifestyle or fitness level, we are challenging you to work with us to help you reach your goals. Remember that you determine exactly what effort you put in for the day, so please do your best to push yourself through these incredible workouts. And as always, take breaks whenever you need. Now let's get to it. We're going to start our warm-up here right now with some jumping jacks. One of my very favorites. I use it in every class. Make sure your arms are up nice and high. Your legs are going nice and wide. Get that heart going. Widen those legs, Gary. Come on. All right. Good. Now we're going to take these and we're going to turn them into what we call seal jacks. Your arms are out wide and clapping in. You don't have to be synchronized with your partner if you don't want. Whew, getting warm. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now, right away into our jump rope. Option one, nice and easy. Option two, double leg. Gary's going to keep it nice and easy for us. That's me. <laughs> All right, keep it up. For five, <laughs> four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew. Now we're going to do some lunges. Turn right away, lunge forward, switching legs, and we're going to lunge to the side, and back. Really important here, forward, side, <laughs> and back. Good, keep going. If your balance is off for the day, you might be a little wobbly. Really important to note, you want to keep those knees above the toes when you're doing your lunges. Last time. Keep going, Gary. So like I said, knees are going to be behind the toes. So you got them right here in a nice line and back up. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Lunging right here. Very good. And back. Gary's got two more lunges left. And then we're moving on to Frankenstein's. Very exciting one for us. In the spirit of Halloween, which is when we're filming this, your legs are going to come up. Squeeze in the core. Frankenstein. <laughs> I'm getting scared over here. If your hamstrings are tight, this might be a little tough. Whew. Speed them up. Frankenstein's getting excited. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Last one. Twist back lunge. Gary, do you want to show them what that is? Absolutely. Bringing your leg back. All right. So very similar to a lunge. We're going to bring those legs back and back up, back, adding a twist in the upper body, helping to warm up that back. Last time, other side, and good. So, now you should be ready to work. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Very excited about this cardio boxing workout we have today because it's pretty much where my roots came from. Teaching for me was kind of an accident when it started. I was in college and our instructor couldn't teach anymore and she asked me if I'd take it over. So little did we know it would lead me to my path of fitness and wanting to help others. So I'm really excited to work out with you today. I'm going to do my best to do the whole thing with you but make sure that you're continuing to keep going with me. 
Um, and we're going to start in just a few seconds. So we've got a few combos today, a couple intervals. And then, of course, we'll kind of alternate between kicking, punching, all of the regular boxing techniques. But make sure that you get a cardio workout at the same time. So if you're ready, I am. We're going to start here with our first combo. First, I always want you to come up here right in your boxer shuffle. This is where I want you to be. If at any time you feel like you cannot do what I'm doing, but you just want to keep moving, you're right here. So we're going to start that first combo in three, two, one. Very good. We've got our front kicks. Kicking forward. Your heels are up. Your chest is high. And of course, as always, your arms are on guard. What that means? Protecting the face. Nice and high. We're alternating. Now, we're going to go just one leg at a time. Get that fatigue going right away. Whew. Heels up. Come on. Nice and powerful. Folding out that leg and switch. Now, continue where you are. Notice when I'm kicking, I'm kind of folding my leg out. You want to make sure you're not going like this, or like this, but a nice fold. Whew. And good. Now we've got side kicks. You're going to kick to the side. Same idea, alternating. 30 seconds. If your balance is off, you'll know it. Come on. Woo. My hips are tight. Woo. Come on. They don't have to be high. They don't have to be fast. You can slow it down or keep it up. For three, two, one. Very good. Next move. Jack and jab with me right here. Jack. Jab forward, jack, jab forward. Come on, glutes to the front of the room. Now if you can hear me breathing, believe it or not, this girl has asthma. So, I took my inhaler, but just like those of you at home, Taking breaks when we need to. In three, two, one. Woo! Next move. High knees. My all time favorite, as you probably noticed from a variety of our videos. And we're up. Your knees are pointing nice and high. Looking to the side as high as we can go. Option right here. You always have options. But otherwise, I want you right up top. For five. Speed it up. And good. Whew. Last little exercise in our series. A little more technique here. We've got our X punch. We're going to the corners and down. Corner, down. All right. In three, two, and one. Now, if these hands are just driving you crazy, take them out and go with a lunge. Otherwise, you're up and down. Come on, slow it down if you need, or keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Now, you're a pro. So, 45 seconds of each move, starting with our kicks. Remember your pause button if you need to. In three, two, and go. Whew. Got a break coming up pretty soon. Same leg. Come on. Woo. Good. 
Go ahead and switch. Use that heel. Kick nice and high. Three, two, and good. Side kicks. Come on. Moving right away through these. You can slow it down. Remember, you've got your options. Keep it up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Jack and jab right away. Come on. Nice big jab. Straight forward. Quick hands. Big jack, big punch, come on. And good. Woo, high knees, let's go. Remember your option, right here. Otherwise we're up, come on. one. X punch. Last time. Come on. Bringing that punch across the body. Come on. And one. Woo! March it out. So, we've got a little water break here. Just want to make sure we're always hydrating. Another point of interest, of course. Woo! This workout is great for burning fat, boosting your metabolism, sculpting those legs, sculpting those arms and getting whatever it is that you need out of a workout. Now we're gonna play a little here. We've got our plank punch right now. Our option one, you're on the knees, creating that angle between your knees and your shoulders. You're gonna punch forward as much as you can. Option two, much more difficult, punching right here. Now I'm going to face you so I can watch. We're going to go for about 35 seconds to 40 seconds, depending on where we are. And you're up. Go. If you're up here, watch those hips. I don't want to see any of this going on. I want you right here. Come on. Nice and aligned. We can make the 40. Come on, let's go. To the side with me. Keep it up. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Now, my very favorite part of the whole workout is right here. It's our interval. They're different than our boxing intervals. In the way that we're gonna do 15 seconds of each move. You're gonna run through them real fast, and hopefully by the end of this workout DVD, you'll know them pretty well, so you can kinda just follow along with me. All right, our first move. Single leg taps, either in your plank. Once again, if the plank's too hard, you're right down here. You're tapping in and out. 15 seconds each leg. 
Second option, right here. And third, adding a hop. All right, so 15 seconds of that move. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Woo! 10. Three, two, and down. Very good. Whew. On the other side, I'm going to go with the taps. So you remember, down here or back up. In three, two, and go. And down. Very good. Next move. Tuck jumps or march. All right, if you're fried, march with me for 15 seconds. If you're good to go, we're going to come up and tuck up to our little hands in three, two, and one. Woo! Three, two, and one. Woo! So good. Back down, mountain climbers. Right here, option one, option two, for 15 seconds. In three, in two, and one. Three, two, and one. Woo! Now, tires. Difference between tires and mountain climbers. Woo! I'm a little tired. Side to side. Tires when we're tired. Let's go. You're good. Wow, that was really fun. So, if you're running out of time, stop there, move to our next combo. If you've got more, work with me through it one more time. And yes, we're going to do it together right here. And we're down for 15 seconds. And go. Oh, I'm going to take it up. Good. Switching sides. Come on with me. And go. If those wrists hurt, stay where you are or take them down right here and give a little tap. Do what you need. Come on. And good. Woo. Tuck jumps or march. Ready and go. Keep going. I'm going to march with those of you taking our second option at home. No shame in taking a little break. And good. Whew. Last things, we've got mountain climbers and tires. Right back down here. Climb it out with me in three, two, and go. Drive it. Come on. Woo! Are you having fun yet? Woo! I sure am finally warming up here. We've got tires. Come on. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Come on. Three. 
two, and one. Woo! So good. I want you to march it out here with me. If you need a break, take it. If you don't, you're crazy. Woo! My mat's kind of going crazy on me, so adjust as you need to. Woo! Next, we've got combo number two. 30 seconds of each move, then 45. We've got a hook and an elbow. So right here, arms are on guard, keeping in mind our poses are strong. Boxers are strong, and so are you. You're going to come down, hook and elbow, hook and elbow. All right, you ready? In three, two, and one. Hook, elbow, hook, elbow. Get nice and low. Ducking underneath their kick. Getting them with nice elbow. Come on. Whew. And good. Very good. Now we've got our touchdowns. My one of my very favorites. Touching down. If this is too much. Nice little punch to the side. And go. When you get ready, add a punch. Really get nice and low. Woo. Three, two, and one. Woo. Now, knees to the side. Really good one for the core. All kinds of fun. In three, two, go. Option one, nice and slow. Option two, add a little hop. Three, speed it up. Like you're chopping a board with that knee. Come on. Keep it up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Switching sides. And we're up. Go. Side note, don't eat a bunch of peanut butter before this exercise. Woo! can feel my lunch. Come on. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Now another one of my favorites. This one's filled with my favorites. We've got a double punch and squat. Or double punch, heel click. All right? Woo! In three, two, and go. Punch, punch, click. Or punch, punch, squat. Punch, punch, squat. Come on. You pick. Keep your balance. Very good. Very, very good. So you made it through. Now, last one. We've got some crosses. Nice and out to the side. Nice and big for 30 seconds. In three, in two, and go. Really punch. Punch. Give a nice twist. Speed it up. Come on. Three, two, and one. Woo, you made it. So now we've got our 45 seconds. Really important here, you know the moves? So really kill them, all right? 
So we've got a nice hook and elbow. This time leading with this arm in three, two, and go. Hook, elbow. Come on. Hook, elbow. Get mad if you need to, come on. Whew. Get lower, come on. Make this 45 worth it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, touchdowns, 45 seconds, let's go. Remember, having back troubles, whatever it is, try to stick to those legs. We're really working that low body. Helps us burn anything that we want. Boost that metabolism. Come on. Woo. We're only 25 seconds in. Come on. Don't give up. Ten seconds. Speed them up. Whew. And good. Very nice. Whew. Knees to the side. 45 seconds. Let's go. And come on. Whew. I'm sweating. I hope you are. Come on. Woo. Mr. Balance. Gotta find him. Come on. Woo. In five. Three, two, and one. Woo. Shake him out. Other side. Wipe the sweat, get excited, and go. Whew. Whew. Come on, you can do it. Don't give up. We're almost done with this combo. Whew. Earn your breaks. Come on. I'll give it to you in three, two, and one. Whew. Those felt like forever. Now, double squat punch. Come on. Or. Wherever you're at today. Come on, nice and low. Breathing out. Speed him up. Oh man, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, last part, crosses, come on. Get nice and low. Are you glowing? I forgot to ask. I know I am, come on. Big punches, big punches. Feel free to slow it down. Whatever keeps you going for that 45 seconds. Whew. 
five. Speed it up. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Awesome job. So we've got a little standing ab crunch. Woo. Bring that heart rate down. Man, this is fun, I think. Hope you do too. Feel free to get lower. A nice crunch for five more seconds. Good. Arms up. You're going to crunch to the side. Really important that we keep our core strong. With that being said, if you haven't tried our core workout, give it a try. It's definitely fun. Definitely tough. Whew. Really squeeze that core in. Tight. Suck in the stomach and breathe. Whew. Whew. Now that we're just getting cooled down and we're up. So now, interval number two. All right? Take your water again. Remember your friend the pause button, but not the stop button. Unless we need to go. Whew. We've got two options here. 15 seconds of our intervals. Keep that in mind. So, where I want you to work up to, if your knees are healthy, if your hips are healthy, if you're feeling good, your back's good, we've got our side-to-side -side squat. So you come down here and jump. And jump. 15 seconds of that. Or, give me a nice little hustle to one side, hustle to the other. All right. In three, in two, let's go. Whew, 15 seconds of the most fun you've ever had in your whole life. Whew, get nice and high. And good. Whew. Next, speed skater, side to side. Option one, option two. Speed it up, let's go, 15. Good. And good. Now, high knees. Once again, my favorite. Ooh. Ooh. And last time, push up, hold. All right, either down here on your knees, holding it out. Woo. Or up top, nice and high. Hold it down for 15. Let's go. Come on. Keep breathing. Woo. And up. Woo. Nice how when you slow down that the working effort. You get a nice little sweat going. I always notice it. So if you're good one time through, that's cool. Two times, you're a star with me. Side to side squat in three, two, and go. Whew. Whew. Come on. Speed skater, right away. Come on. Woo. Come on. High knees up. Come on, push. And push up, hold. Right here with me. And go. Come on. Woo. Are we done yet? Oh my gosh. End up. Woo. 
that was so much fun. All right, so you've got one more in interval. Final combo, 45 seconds of each move, then we're done. Don't forget to cool down and take a break and remember why you did this. All right, that was my break. So take some water when you need to. Our first move is the attack. You're up here. You're gonna punch two times to the front and switch and switch. Come on. Whew. This is getting a little boring for you. Take it to singles. One, two, one. Two, or keep that double. Woo. Push it out. Come on. For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Double squat, hop. Oh, this is a treat for those of you in my classes. This is when they start hating me. So, we're gonna squat twice to the side, twice to the middle, and twice to the other side. Feel free to modify. This is your option. If you're modifying, that's okay with me. In three, in two, let's go. Glutes back, come on. Whew. Four to five seconds is a long time, but you can do anything for 45 seconds. Woo. Come on. Holy moly. Keep smiling. Remember that modified option? Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, man. Nice little move here to help you give those legs a little rest. Uppercuts. You're going up and up each side. Nice little cut up. In three, two, whoo, and one. Crunch those abs. On your way up. If you want more, speed it up. Come on, nice and big. You can do it. Three, two, and one. Whew. Now, you're going to go down, come up and kick. Option one, nice little tap and kick. Nice little tap and kick. Option two, which is harder, down and kick. Down and kick. Full range of motion. All right, you're with me in three, two, and go. Woo! Find your balance. We're all human, right? Woo! Come on. Oh, man. Getting tired. Breaks when you need it. Oh! Oh, man. Seriously, this is it. Push yourself. Oh. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, man. That is tough. All right. This is your last 
part, the last leg, literally, of this whole workout is right here. You're going down in three, two, and one. Whew. Oh man, balance is already given out. Whew. You guys are making me nervous watching me out there. That's why I'm falling over. Whew. Feel free to slow it down. Find your balance. That's where I'm struggling. Whew. Think we got it. Come on. Don't give up. Three. Oh, man. Two. And one. Whew. You got me there on the last one. So I hope I got you, too. Definitely a fun workout. So many fun things you can do with kickboxing. I hope you enjoyed your time. Drink water, eat well, and focus. This is for you, and we hope you're glowing fit. Thank you. Welcome everyone to the Glowing Fit Workout Series. Today we're doing a plyo blast. Plyo, this is Lauren. I'm Lauren. As you already know. Yep. Plyometric training traditionally was developed for athletes to develop that powerful, explosive, jumping type movements, quick, agile, but we've, nah, let me start over. Welcome everyone to the Glowing Fit Workout Series. Today we are doing our Plyo Blast workout. I'm here with Lauren. Hello. Lauren's going to help us through the exercises because she's got the legs for it. Plyometric training originally developed for athletes to help with their power and explosion, but we found that it's a great workout to develop the legs, to get the heart rate up, and to just give you the results that you're looking for. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's jump into this plyo blast workout. We're going to start circuit one, each exercise 30 seconds each, starting with jump squats. Now, what we're going to do the first time through, we're doing a slow and controlled movement. And what this is, is kind of a continuation of the warm up. So, She's going to jump. First one is jump squat. So you're getting down low. Jump, get some height. And then what you want to do, Lauren, we want to get that landing slow and controlled. Okay. Slow and controlled helps you build that foundation, builds up that stability. And then the second time through, we're going to fly through it a little bit quicker. All right. 30 seconds ready. Are you guys ready? ready? We are going in three, two, one. Here we go. Jump squat, slow and controlled. Now what Lauren wants to do when she jumps, she's going to drop her hips back, keep her chest tall, making sure the knees do not go over the toes. Nice, nice controlled landings. Looks good. We have about five seconds left. Three, two, one, and great job. Number two, not wasting any time going into skaters. What you're going to do is start on one leg, jump to the side, control that landing, and jump back. A modification of this, if you have knee issues, what you can do, you can take that back leg and just tap it down here. So for the controlled version, we're holding the landing, holding the landing, 30 seconds, going in 3, 2, 1, and here we go. I'm going to do these with Lauren. I like to skate. And to make this more challenging, get lower, drop the hips down, which can be tough if your hips are tight. Really, that's most of us, isn't it? 10 seconds. There we go, control it. In two, one, and time. Oh, I'm tired already, are we done yet? No, no not yet, not yet. Frog jumps, speaking of tight hips, frog jumps, a great way to loosen up those hips. Wide feet. Frogs, what do they do? They jump like this. Okay, so it's a jump squat, but you're getting deeper and you're opening up the hips more. And remember, controlling that landing so you're up here, control it, 
and then explode back up. Control, 30 seconds. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now a modification for this, as I turn to the side, is just going to be squatting, getting down low. If you don't have the hip mobility to get all the way down, just go as low as you can. But then, if you want to avoid the impact, just kind of get up on your toes and then come down. On the toes, come down. Keeping the chest tall. Three, two, one, and time. Okay. Three exercises. Going through it one more time. Jump squats, this time full speed. So Lauren's jumping up quick, landing quick, not really trying to control the landing as much. 30 seconds, two, one, here we go. Here we go, up and down, there it is. And once again, modification for this, just that squat, or you can get up onto the toes, or just a little baby hop. A little baby hop, that's where I'll stay. There we go. Woo. Quads are burning here. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. So circuit number one is over. We're taking a little 30 second recovery. If you need longer, you have that, pop, that pause button to push. And of course, if you're a beginner, maybe you can only do one circuit. That's fine. Try to push yourself. Try to stay with us, okay? Lauren, are you good? Water? Yeah. Water? Hydration? I'm ready to skate. All right, let's do it. Skaters, here we go. All right. There it is. Explosive. speed. Three, two, one. Right into frog jumps. And here we go. 30 seconds. There we go. Got a little bit longer distance to the ground. Lauren's a little jib. She can just get up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. And take your break. Those hips. All right. Okay, we're in our water break. We made it through circuit one. Lauren's taking in some water. Ready for circuit two, everyone? Ready. Okay, we're going to start off with some high knees. Same thing as circuit one. Slow and controlled movements particularly the landings. High knees are gonna be like this. So you're here, hold it, a little balance, hold it. Get a little hop. Modification is just gonna be this, and then this. 30 seconds, you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Slow and control, control that landing. Control that landing, there we go. There we go. Get Don't the balance in. In plyometrics, particularly if you're an athlete, if you can learn to control these landings, it'll actually increase the potential of whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to jump higher, run faster, the muscles will be able to handle a greater load and time. Okay, tuck jumps. Second exercise. You'll see some of these exercises sprinkled through the other the other workouts in the Glowing Fit series. Tuck jumps. Lauren, let's see it. Ooh, my favorite. Jumping up, bringing the knees right. to the hands. And once again, we're getting that controlled landing. Stick it and then go back up. Here we go. Ready? And go. There it is. Now with plyometrics, you want to make your landings as quiet as possible. There we go. Why is that? The louder the landing, the more impact it is on the joints. Quieter landing, 
goes to the muscles, keeps the stress off the knees, keeps it off the hips, and time. Number three, jumping lunges, lunge jumps, many names for this. So what you're doing is you're starting down, and this is a balance move, you're jumping up, you're switching the legs, keeping your torso tall, right here. We're going with a slow and controlled landing. Same thing. Ready for it? Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go, stick that landing. Modification, you're just getting that little back lunge and switch it, and switch it. As you can see, we have that straight line from the knees down to the feet. The knee is not extending past the front of her toe. Her torso is upright, which allows her to get that deeper stretch in the hip flexor. Here we go, finish strong, keep the core tight. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, made it through the first round of it. Second round, quicker, more explosive. Ready, high knees. Two, one, and go. <coughs> Ooh, get those knees high. There we go. Remember, modification. Just going quick knees. Pump those arms with it. There we go. The idea with plyometrics, spending minimal time on the ground. So after we do that first round of control and balance, the second round, you're trying to stay airborne as much as you can and time. Okay. Tump, tuck jumps, the killer, ready to do it? Oh yeah. You don't need a second to breathe? She doesn't need a second to breathe. That's it. Two, one, and here we go. So with these, you can do the same thing. You can get a little high knee action for a modification. You can just squat it out if you need to. Whatever you need to do just to find a filler for these workouts, Perfectly okay. Five, four, three, get those knees up, two, one, and time. <sighs> Grab a couple oxygen cells out of the air. Inhale them, there we go. Right. Lunge jumps, 30 seconds. Getting airborne on these. Three, two, one, and here we go. There it is, minimal time on the ground flying up and down, getting that deep stretch. A modification, I'm going to have you show us a modification to make it harder, arms straight up in the air now. And when you put your arms overhead, that brings core into play. If you have a couple dumbbells sitting around, add those dumbbells to the mix. Here we go, five seconds, finish strong. Three, two, one. Circuit two is over. We only have two more to go. Take that water break. Right. As Lauren likes to say, you earned it. You earned it, so take it. Might as well. Halfway there. <sighs> Heart rate should be high. If you're good on water, just keep the movement going. You can get some leg kicks in. Just some little active quad stretch. Twisting. Whatever you have to do to bring the heart rate down but to stay loose. You don't want to completely stop after you're doing these exercises. Okay, All right. circuit number three. Scissors jump. More of a foot speed movement, okay? Bringing the hips into play, hip flexors in particular. So what you're doing, you have your left leg in front, or your right leg in front, your left leg in back, or vice versa, and then you're just jumping and switching. Hold it, hold it. Get the arms going with it too, hold it. Right. Hold it. Try to land on your toes. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and here we go. Hold that landing. Hold it good. And like any move, you want to keep your core tight just to make sure you're not wobbling all over like I just did right there. No one saw it though. It's okay. Except for all of them. 10 seconds. You didn't see anything. And three, two, one, and 
two, one. Time. Exercise number two is a two-parter. Okay. We have side hops, single leg. Now, some of you might not be able to handle this one. Not yet. If not, I'll show you the modification. Not yet, exactly. Not yet. It'll come. So you're going to get on one leg. So we're balancing already. You have an imaginary line. If it helps you, you can set a towel down, set a sock down, preferably clean. Jumping over, hold the landing, hold the landing. Okay? After Lauren gets started, I'll show you the modification. Three, two, one, here we go. So she's on her right leg, controlling that landing. Now the modification of this is going to involve two feet. So you're just going to be here and here. Or you can even tap both feet down and both feet. Okay? So similar to the skater, but try to keep the leg on that one side. As we finish up the last five seconds, I'm going to go back to the one leg and time. Other leg right away. One. Two, one, here we go. So this is a calf builder. So for you athletes out there, this one is going to be very beneficial for that lateral movement, for those quick jumps. Was that a, was that a 180? Oh. <laughs> now I'm just showing off. She's, she's improving, folks. That was not scripted. Whatever you need to do to make it fun, right? <laughs> exactly. Woo. Okay, in three, two, one, and time. Next one, we have split jumps getting deep into a squat on this, a nice wide squat. So you're starting tall and then you're dropping down, hold it, and then hold up top. Hold it and then up top, okay? 30 seconds, two, one, and go. So this is gonna be a lot of hip, adductor, inner thigh, and of course, like any plyometric workout, the calves are working like crazy. Glutes, core is strong and firing to keep you balanced, to keep you powerful. Five seconds, two, one, and time. Scissors jump. Now we're going full speed. Okay? Great. Let's get after it. Three, two, one, here we go. Hit that line. Modification, jump forward, jump back. Forward, back, forward, back. Lauren's just in a zone right now. I don't even know if she knows where she is, but where am I? her legs are going two, one, time. Side hops. Now we're hopping over that line. Hot feet. 30 seconds. Two, one, and go. Here we go. Stepping in lava. Can't stay in that lava for too long. You burn your little toes. I like to get a little arm action in here as I do this. Makes me feel like I'm at a hoedown. Hey, little doggy, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, and let's get the other side. Good thing you're funny. <laughs> some, some might say that. Two, oh, yeah. one, here we go. There it is. Lauren's more of a rapper. I'm the, I'm the redneck here of the group. Check the special features for some of her freestyle. And time. A lot of woos will be in there. A lot of woos. A lot of woos. Split jumps now. Minimal time on the ground, minimal time up top. Three, two, one, here we go. Here, right back down, right back down, here we go. One of my favorites here. If you're an athlete, if you're a basketball player, 
you gotta get down in that defensive position, sink those hips, get those hands out. Little bonus move. Lauren's gonna go turbo speed here as I modify, come out wide, come up. Three, two, one. And we made it through circuit three. And we made it. Oh. Oh, but wait, we have one more. Oh. We're not done yet. Take a water break. Sorry. Catch your breath. Stay active at home. Pause button. Only if you need it. How do you know if you need it? Maybe a little lightheadedness. Maybe a little cramping. But if you're just sweating, you can keep going. You be the judge of that, folks. Circuit number four. Starting with what I like to call a single leg stretch jump. So it starts kind of like a single leg deadlift. You're dropping down, touch the ground, get the back leg high, and then from this position, jumping up, and then soft landing. Okay? Yeah, crazy, huh? Here we go, 30 seconds, and we're going. There we go. Good, drive that knee up as you jump too. If you need to tap down with the other foot, and like any, any kind of balance move, you know, don't feel like you have to stay on that one leg. I'd rather see you tap down with the other foot than fight to stay on the one leg and fall on your face. It's not the objective of the Glowing Fit Workout Series. Okay, five seconds. Two, one, and let's switch sides. All right. So, if you're right-handed, the left leg's probably gonna be a little bit easier for you, as that is your plant leg for most everyday situations. Because it's your plant leg, your core is generally stronger and more stable here. It's our plant leg, does it grow food? Oh, zinger. <laughs> We're here all day, folks. <laughs> In three, two, one, and time. Okay, we have now the crouching squat jump, or the crouching tiger, but you know, if, if it helps to think of yourself as a tiger, then go right ahead. But I'm gonna call it the, the crouching squat jump. So I'm gonna turn sideways here so you can see what I'm doing. You're staying down in this squatted position. You're jumping forward, and then you're jumping back. Now what you're not doing is you're not getting full extension on the jump. You want to stay low to the ground, almost like a pulse type move, like a lunging pulse. So this is 30 seconds. Control those landings. Three, two, one. Here we go. Staying nice and low. As always, keeping those landings soft and quiet. Soft and quiet, as my legs are burning, and they feel like they're on fire, but it is doing good things to my body. I am burning calories, and developing the booty, and time. Okay, and now, we'll throw back to old high school football practice. Doing some quick feet here, okay? This one, we're not gonna have that slow and controlled stage one of it. We're just gonna go right into the quick feet. Getting the hands going. You're right here. Quick feet as quick as you can. 30 seconds, two, one, let's do it. There we go. Jiggling, I feel like I'm in a music video. Turn to the side, let the people see it. Oh, your, your feet are quicker than mine. I can't let them see that. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh. Do 
we really have to do that one more time? Yeah, we do. One more. I want to do it again. Single leg stretch jump. Let's move through this a little bit quicker, unless you feel unstable, in which case, keep it slow and controlled. Okay, we're starting. You're on the right leg, I'm on the left. Here we go, 30 seconds. Let's do it. Drop down, hop up, and hop up. Woo. Whoa. Here we go. Oh. Good, keep controlling that landing though. Just try to move through it a little bit quicker. Now if that hamstring's tight, remember, just kind of drop down here. You can even plant the back leg and then jump up. Three, two, one. And time. Other side. Here we go. And we're going. Feel free to make sound effects. I get made fun of all the time for it, but it helps me. At least I think it does. <laughs> I don't know. You look like it does. I don't know. Oh, this right leg is something else for me. Not the most stable, but that's why I'm working on it. Three, two, one. And time. Crouching tiger. Crouching squat jump. Here we go. Get down low. Two, one. Here it is. Get down low. There we go. Okay. What was that? Get down glow. Get down glow. Are you glowing? Glowing fit. I look like I'm glowing with this sweat that's dripping off my face. Oh, you are. You can't see it, but you are. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. <sighs> Folks, we're almost done. We have quick feet. I know you're tired. I'm not even gonna try that. I'm gonna try my best, all right? I'm not gonna try to beat her because I can't hang on that level, but I can do better than I did last time. We're going 30 seconds, make a count, finish strong. Show your speed on this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pick it up. There it is. You can also add a little hip turn to it. A little hip turn. Here we go. Feels like we're tap dancing. Get some jazz hands. Jazz hands. Come on, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, plyo blast, people. How are you feeling? I'm great. My legs are blasted. Yeah. My legs are crushed. Hard work. I'm get your hard. get your hydration. Get that nice post workout meal in. Follow the cool down procedure, and we will blast those legs again another day. Okay, we have just finished our amazing workout. We're glowing fit. We're feeling strong. But if we want to recover, if we want to prevent as much soreness as possible, we want to get that cool down in. So we're going to start off just taking a night through a nice, easy cool down series here. Just a little jogging. Just jogging on our feet here. Staying moving, but we're not pushing it too hard. There we go. Don't go crazy with those knees. No need to high knee them. We're kicking now. Kick it out. Now what you want to do is prevent what's called blood pooling. You want to prevent cramping all things that can happen if you just finish your intense workout and then stop, okay? You gotta bring the body back down to that state of rest. Now this kicking is kind of like an active 
hamstring stretch. Now from here, taking both feet wide, squaring the toes, pointing them forward. You're bending at the waist, dropping down, and just relaxing right here. You're gonna feel that through the hamstrings, through the lower back. You can either place your hands on the ground, place them on your knees if you can't get to the ground, or rest your hands here. Feel free to rock back and forth slightly. Sometimes I like to walk my hands over to the right and then bring them to the left. Hold that a little bit longer. And slowly come up. Okay, now we're gonna do what's called a sprinter stretch. So I'm gonna turn sideways. I'm getting in this push-up position. I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna drive it forward and hold it right here. And I'm gonna take this leg and externally rotate that hip. Let me show you from the front what this looks like. So I'm here driving this hand forward and then rotate that hip in and out. There we go. This is getting deep into the hamstring, stretching out the hip flexor on the opposite side. And let's switch feet and shoot the left one forward. If you want to get more advanced, let me just back up here. You can actually drop both hands down to the ground. As you can tell, I lack the flexibility for that. At least on the left side I do. Rotate that hip. Okay. Now one more point of emphasis on this. You want to drive the foot forward so you have this nice straight line from knee to foot. You don't want to be back here like this. Okay. That's going to take the stretch away from the hamstring. Okay. Now let's come out of that. What we're doing is we're putting our right knee on the ground. Left leg is forward. Reach the right hand up high and then drive your hips forward. And at the same time, you're going to lean to your left. Stretch that. Let me give you the side view. So we're reaching out, get, get some height, drive the hips forward, lean over this way and hold that. That's going to get right into not only the hip flexor, but your lats your abdomen, all good things. Want to lengthen everything after the workout. Let's switch sides. Right leg is forward. Left hand is high. Lean forward. Lean to your right. With all of these stretches, we want to breathe through them, which can be hard as we're stretching a muscle you know, the tendency is to hold your breath as things start to get difficult. Breathe through it. That's going to allow you to sit down into that stretch a little bit further. And you want to take it to a level where it's, you feel the stretch, but you're not too uncomfortable. Okay. Now drop down. We're going to do a glute stretch. So you're going to lay on your back, right leg over the left. Now you have this little hole right here. Reach through. Advanced version is to grab the shin and pull back. Okay, if you can't get that far, you can grab the hamstring and pull back. Okay, I'm going to pull the shin, put my head down, and enjoy this one. Especially with all the lower body the work that we do in the glowing fitness workout series. And now you're gonna drop down, switch sides. Left side is tighter for me. The left side is more stable, but the left side is also tighter for me. And that tends to be how the body works. Pulling back, breathing through the stretch, enjoying some of this downtime here and come on out of this now we're getting into a child's pose so 
knees are out wide. You're sitting down on your feet, reaching forward with those hands at the same time, keeping your hips back on your feet, pushing down chest towards the ground, pushing through those shoulder blades. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn forward so you can see the form. We're here, drop down. You're reaching forward. Feel it through the lower back. And now we're going to put some emphasis into the lats. So you're going to take both hands, reach to your left, put your right hand on top of your left hand, drop down and hold. Breathe through it. And now, both hands to the right, right hand down first, left hand on top. Feel it through the lat, through the side. Keep holding, keep breathing. And rock your body forward. Come on out of that. Slowly stand up. If you feel tight anywhere, if you feel the need to stretch, go through that series again. Hold those stretches a little bit longer. If you need to, keep glowing fit, keep working hard, and we will see you next time.